We are live with new skateboard products. Customers come in. I'm going to go silent, mind you. Just wanted to show you that I got some uh, mini logo hardware. Got these new Element Cruiser wheels. These things are sick. Super fat. 60 mil. One, I don't know if they light up or not. I'd have to test them out. Really rad. Got a bunch of these. I might actually have to order more of these because they're really rad. Uh, I don't know. I might even get a pair myself, to be honest. Super dope. I like these Element Cruiser wheels. Got some more reds. Red bearings. I got somebody coming in. <laughs> so I got all these reds bearings now. Got to get reds. These are like brand new Element Cruisers. These are super, super cool. Can't wait to try them out. Hey, how's it going? Good. How can I help you today? Give me a look around. See what you got. Cool. New power Peralta. Let's see where we're at. Anything specific or? No, just looking around. Just looking around. Uh, no, we've been here for a while. Just had to reopen because of COVID and everything. The whole COVID situation was kind of sucked, but it is what it is. Need a new board or? Nope. No. Always looking though. Yeah, I got complete stacks. Depending on what brand and stuff, I can always order them. Flexible on the pricing too. So. I ride the Element Simpson. Hmm? I ride Element Simpson. Oh, yeah, Element? Yeah. Yeah, Element, I think, is all sold out right now. I think they're going to be coming in in October. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, all, I was able, yeah, all I was able to get was the Element component trucks, and I'll get, like, one set of those left. That one was $10 torches, but we got tested for that one. <laughs> well, I bought lots of these, like, go for gases, like, close out the side of it. Perfect, I'm good. Yeah, this was a buddy, so 10 bucks cash, I guess. Yeah, I'll get some more shit. What do you like? You need a matching shirt so everyone knows you're gay? Let's do it. Protex pads. <laughs> Junior three pads. Inside here. Small, two pads. Let's do tiny. Got some blue pads. Get back inside. Get all these uh, new helmets too. <laughs> oh, don't want to wear a phone. I don't want to wear a dress shirt to work. Yeah, I have fun to see now. Oh, damn. The one on the skateboard I want is like fatty gel wheels on it. Yeah, that's why. My other one's got like hard. Like that's why I like just super. ordered these. These are the fat, fat it's cruiser gel wheels. Sweet. Yeah, they just came in. They're like brand new. What are they at? Like sixty bucks though. Uh, forty. Yeah. Yeah. What? How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Not too bad. What kind of decks do you got here? Uh, mini logo, ATM, and Punisher right now. All right. Depending on what size you need or want. And what do you got for trucks? Trucks, unfortunately, I only got the components right now, which okay. is the Element and the mini logo. Okay. And, okay, I'm going to try yeah, to get yeah. some hard wheels. Then. Hard wheels? Yeah. Uh, Probably the mini logos are fairly hard. All right. Uh, you got cash or debit? What do you prefer? Well, if you do cash or some tax. What's that? 50 bucks. Did I tell people where I work too, bro? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you some stickers for you, bro. Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll think about what I want to build. Here's some stickers if you want. 
Fuck yeah, I love <laughs> stickers, man. Sticker everything. I'll throw her some kids. Full gay. There you go. So yeah. Thank you. We'll sweat on there, man. Appreciate it. We're mad. We can be gay now. Thanks, man. We yeah. Change our lives. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Would you recommend these Punisher meals? Uh, yeah, they're they're all right. I, I've, I've skated them. They're just like a new reveal, really. Uh, how wide are they? Can I take a look at them? Yep, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 They're just like the generic 53 mil, I believe. Right. I believe they're 53. I'll just double check. Yeah, I just got these in. They're the Element Cruisers. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm looking for there. something that I can skate the bowl with. Yeah, these are 54, okay. actually. Okay, yeah, I'll consider that. I'm going to shop around a bit. If you want, I can just do straight 20 bucks. 20 bucks for those? Yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, that's a good deal. I'll bucks. do it. See me the chip going around. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, if there's ever any certain brand deck or certain size or certain things, right now it's very limited, but just keep us in mind because I can always go online, see what there is, order okay. it, and then yeah. I can always play around with the pricing too. This may be hard to find, but do you think you could find a, um, what's it called again? <clears throat> I think it's Red Dragon Skateboard Deck. The RDS? Yeah. Okay, yeah, RDS, I believe, is either through Center or Supra. I'll have to double check. I'm getting signed up with Supra okay. in the next week or two, and if they cover that, then I'll be able to get those for sure. But if it's through Center, then I'm going to have to figure that out. All right. Because right now I'm with Ultimate, and they cover, like, Mini Logo, Powell, Zero, Toy Machine, all those kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, but if I can get... your call, man. Yeah, if, I, if you want, I, just give me a shout, or I can take your name and number, and if I ever get RDS, I can give you a shout or whatnot. Sure, sounds good. My name's Andrew. Yeah, right. Nice to meet you, Andrew. I'm Chad, by the way. Hey, Chad. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Got some new stocks. We're pretty stoked about it. Decent. Have you skated an RDS board before? Or just yeah, I skated one before. It was one of the nicest decks I ever had. Nice. I've never personally skated an RDS, so that's why I was curious. Nice, awesome. Thanks, Andrew. No I'll problem. definitely give you a shout if I can get you hooked up with an RDS deck. No promises, though. I'm just going to wait to see if it's through Super or Centra. Okay. If not, maybe you could get an email sent there and tell them to hook up community board chat. All right. Yeah, now we will get it. All right, man. Thanks. You have a great day. You too. Thanks. Oh, did you want some stickers too? Oh, sure. Totally zoned out. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. There you go. There's a stack of five for you. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a great day. You too. All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Go to go live and we go uh, two back to back business sales like that. Bah, bah, bah. Cause every day I'm hustling. Sub Deanster swag memes. Every day we're hustling. We're about the community. We're for the community, by the community, for the community. So I always hook up people, give them some stickers. I'm not, I'm not hard done by. Like a guy's like, oh, I don't know. I'll come back. And I'm just like, you know what? Five dollars off, twenty bucks, done, good. It's happy. But yeah, I know these are sick. I just got these in Deanster. Look at these, Element Rasta Cruisers. So beautiful. I actually, I'm very tempted. I, I want to try. I need. I actually want to try a pair of these because they look so nice. They they look so good. Like they feel like they would be so nice. Skating around. Revive needs to be stopped. That's why we're starting community to try to take over Revive and Braille, to put a stop to their gromness and to take back hardcore in the city. So, yeah, we just got a brand new mini logo lionfish deck in. These are actually really nice. I like it. It's pretty cool. I'm actually thinking uh, the other day I was talking about how these should uh, come with grip, pre gripped. So I'm thinking, depending on my cost, I might actually do that. I might pre-grip these for people, 
and just incorporate it into the cost, which you won't be able to get anywhere else because everywhere else you got to you pay for it. Zoomies, you pay separate. You know, I'll put this up over here. I, I've been busy today. I actually sold a, the ATM Galaxy Complete. I had an ATM Galaxy Complete, sold that. So now I got to make another one. I still got the uh, the parrot one. I thought the, it's funny because it was a girl that bought the Galaxy board, and I thought she would have bought this one instead, but no. She ended up going with the Galaxy. That's okay. This is a really nice board, Deanster. These next two boards are really nice. I only got one of each because I got to pay out of pocket. It's not like I just get them and then sell them and then pay them. I got to buy all this out of my own money and then hopefully sell it and make a little bit of money. So that's where uh, I'm a bit different than any other skate shop because I'm not like Zoomies or West where I got millions and millions of dollars in funding. This is one of my favorite boards by uh, Mini Logo just because like the tree frog is so nice. It's got like this solid lime green. Then it's got like the tree frog and then it goes into the wood texture. It is so beautiful. I actually like it. It's so solid. And shout out to mini logo too. Cause like every, every board you get, everything you get, there's always like a sticker sheet. Like there's no reason for companies not to give stickers. I'm starting to launch my skating career. Would you be interested? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Sick deck, yeah. I like this deck. This one's one of my favorite and froggy too. Mr. Froggy. <laughs> put this up over here, I guess. I'm gonna have to clear some room so we can put up the new decks so, so people can see them. And then this one is actually really sick, Deanster. You're gonna like this one. This one's really rad. I think this was actually done by uh, one of the colorways, to be honest. It's uh a Powell Peralta. It's a little bit bigger, an 8.75, but I figured I I missed out on all the Powell completes. Uh, they sold out by the time I even got on there. Unfortunately, the skate industry is really low on product and supplies, so everybody was fighting for the Powell board. So I figured, you know, I got to at least order one to show my support to Powell because Powell's awesome. And I love their, their designs. They got like this skeleton in the background and then like this this foreground. You, you, a lot of people don't even see the skeleton in the back. And yeah, it's super clean. I like it. And I like the fact that they're solid black decks too. That's one thing about Powell I like too. And they come with a warranty card, but no sticker sheet. It should come with a sticker sheet. The sticker though is on the outside. And it says uh, California, USA by Paul Peralta Design, engineered and manufactured in the Santa Barbara, California. Cool. This one's actually produced and made out of uh, Santa California, bar out of uh, California. See, that's the thing is that some boards like Powell, this one's actually made out of California, but then even uh, the mini logos, uh, they're made in China. It says right there, made in China. And even on the sticker there, it says made in China. So some boards are made in China, some are Mexico, and some are from the States. Uh, do your research. Uh, this one's from actually from California. It even states it. This one's actually really solid. I love this one. <laughs> China. China. No, no, Trump. Don't trust China. I'm just going to stick that there like that for now. I actually sold uh, one of the toy machines the other day. Um, I might actually order a bunch of toy machine completes. wasn't too sure about that. They look pretty sweet. So we also got for the kids and for the adults that want to learn and protect themselves. We got ProTech. Always getting more of these. I need my China. <laughs> so you got like your wrist pads, elbow pads, and knee pads, which is really solid. Because if you're going to skate, you're usually going to fall on your hands or your elbow or your knee. So you definitely need these. So I got like youth small, youth medium. I'm always trying to keep them in. So when I sell a set, I bring in a new set. Um, helmets are very scarce right now and the price is really expensive. But I was able to grab, get some. I got two different types. I got like industrial helmets. And they usually only have extra small and extra large. So... 
when they brought small, medium, and large, and I had to grab some sort of a blue helmet. Gotta get the brain bucket, right? Got some white. Sub Sea Boy Slim. Not bad. I've been uh, I've already made a few sales today. Sold a complete. Got some new products in, showing off. Got the pads, the helmets, the new element cruiser wheels, which are super sick. Uh, these are actually like a steel. Honestly, these are like a steel from Element. I uh, got some new Reds bearings. Got to get the Reds bearings. Skate rated. Got some mini logo hardware. Uh, oh, yeah. I even got these pad sets. Totally forgot about the 187. 187. <laughs> Killer pads. 187 for junior kids. It's funny. <laughs> I wonder what 187 stands for. Nice man, nice. Yeah, how's your day? How's your day going? How's all your day going? I even got some more, uh, got some Protex small helmets in, and I got the the gloss black, which is really nice because uh, you know who wants a pink helmet? Even the girls are like, I don't like pink helmets. It's kind of funny when the girls don't pick the girl stuff. Here's another blue one, industrial. So they're usually extra small or like extra large helmets. You should do a video where you're doing a giveaway, the best video made about Potter, but it'd be like something cheap, like a pack of wheels or a pair of trucks. Yeah, I know, right? I know what 187 needs, bro. <laughs> but I think it's a gangster thing. I know, right? But that's like funny because it's 187 killer pads. Murder killer pads. <laughs> If you're not wearing them, that's what's going to happen to you, 187. But yeah, I should do a giveaway. So you're saying I should do like a Fetty Potter video and then do a giveaway? Got more helmets. Definitely had to get more helmets. I had kids coming in and I didn't have the right sizes. So I had to get more helmets. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's all good. It is what it is. I actually haven't seen the difference between an industrial helmet and Protex, so maybe we should check that out while I got them before I put them away. It'd be nice to peep it out and see the difference. I actually got two of these already pre-sold. I gotta put these on the side. Pre-sold. Because <laughs> things are like so scarce right now. Everything's selling like quick, quick. quick. So yeah, I'm gonna check out a industrial helmet compared to a Protec helmet in a second. It's so hot outside today. If I see a kid wearing 187 pads, I'm not messing around because they probably got. <laughs> All right, they've been part of the 187 crew. <laughs> the 187 skate crew. We don't mess around. Let's check this out. Check out an industrial helmet. Actually, they seem pretty solid. Janice approved? That is hilarious. Does that mean there's some dude in the warehouse named Janice and he approved it? Look. Janice approves. <laughs> Janice approved. This helmet is not for mortar vehicle. Okay. Well, we weren't going to wear this for a motor vehicle we're going to use it for skateboarding these are actually they seem pretty solid the industrial helmets actually pretty nice uh speed demons any good when i were a kid dude speed demons were amazing amazing i don't know what ever happened to them i guess they just were just too expensive that's what happens with a lot of uh companies they just they get big and it's a brand and they just charge more because you're paying for the image and the brand and the logo and stuff. Janice said it's good, but I'm going to check out the other industrial helmet just to see if it says Janice approved or if it says somebody else approves. Thought you'd be like, Greg approves. <laughs> yeah, it says Janice approved. Janice approved. I wonder if that's like a certain helmet company or something. I don't know. <laughs> Fetty blocked me on Facebook. Dude, Fetty blocks his haters. It's funny. He makes videos saying, welcome haters, but then he blocks them. Oh, yeah. This one feels solid. Protect, bro. 
Insta. He blocks people on anything. Dude, he messaged he messaged me and then he blocked me before I even responded. <sighs> like who does that? Uh yeah, look at look at the Protect. Protects are really solid helmets. Does it say Janice approved? Oh no. The Protect isn't Janice approved. But it is uh, complies with the USCP SC safety standard for bicycle helmets for a person's age five and older. So I guess it's uh, USCB SC approved. It's got like this huge, I've never seen anything like that before in a helmet. Look at this. It's got this huge ride out about it. Never seen anything like that. This one's got like a tiny one inside, but. Tiny, tiny, but not like some big, massive right up. It's crazy. Yeah, look at the difference between the helmets, too. So, like, this one's just, like, the foam with a little bit of padding, where this is, like, the foam and then, like, a ton of padding. So, you're talking, like, you're paying for two different types of quality helmets. And Protec have helmets that are thick padding or thin padding, too. So, it really depends. Uh it's just more or less on how you feel and you're comfortable. Uh, me, myself personally, I'll always go with the Protec. Protec. Let's see here. Maybe get it. It's an acronym. What's up, brother? What's up, Dab and Dangle? Just got off 12 hour shift. Got the weekend off, though. Gonna shred this weekend. Nice, dude. Get out there and skate. No, Janice, our Lord and Savior, bless the helmets. <laughs> it's okay. I can peel off the sticker. The Janice approved sticker and put it in the Protec helmet. So Janice approves Protec. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what Janice is, if it's like a helmet company or whatnot. But honestly, Protec is the way to go. Look at that. It's certified. It's super solid, thick padding. These ones are good too. But, uh, you know, it's only got a little bit of padding. Not, nothing like this. This is straight, like, certified, like, the bees knees don't mess around that's crazy these are brand new and it has the manufacturer date on here and it says uh 05 15 2016 these are 2016 this is the, this year this helmet is the year 2016 but yet they're brand new that just shows you uh that all the old stock and all the stuff that they couldn't get rid of because of how everything's going that they're not producing new things they're just getting rid of it and selling it which is good. Good for all the warehouses. Good for all the, the places that had all the stock, right? Not good for the skateboards, though. I wear a hat for, for protection. Uh, you know, if you wear a hat for protection, there's a thing called the bumper cap by Finley Hats. They actually sent me one of these. Uh, they're not supposed to replace a helmet, and they're not supposed to be uh, supposedly like a helmet. It even says it there on the warning. That it won't actually protect it. It's kind of like a you know a, a feel good thing, but yeah, it's uh, by Finley Hats. And what you're supposed to do is throw this in here like that, and then you wear it while you skate, and then you got somewhat of a protection, which is pretty rad. But at the same time, like I was wearing this every time I skated and was like promoting it. But the thing is though, is that it's like look at this. It's not supposed to replace a helmet. Like it says, warning, this is not a safety helmet. This is a bump cap. Bump cap does not provide protection against the effects of flying or thrown objects or moving or suspended. It should not be used instead of an industrial safety helmet as specified. It is made to absorb the energy of a below by partial destruction or damage to the shell, even though such damage may not be readily apparent. So basically it's, it's just, you know, it's like a, whatever it is, but if they made like a helmet that like was like your hat, then I'm pretty sure more people would wear it. I don't know. Our mother Janice, who art in heaven, <laughs> please, please bless this child's head. Janice, Janice, bless the child's head. Janice blesses this helmet. So, you know, your child's safe. <laughs> I'd, I'd buy the ProTech every day. Uh, what happened to the guy you convinced about Fetty? Is he in chat? No, I don't think so. I wear my hat backwards. Anytime I fall, the bill stops the head from hitting the ground. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great. That's great logic right there. So I'm going to wear my hat. 
like this. So when I fall and I hit my head, the brim will stop my head from hitting the concrete. <laughs> Same like this, you know? Cause like, that's totally going to work. <laughs> like I said, I used to wear this bum cat, but then uh, I wrapped it after I read re reading it and realizing it wasn't a helmet. Uh, I just decided to just wear a helmet again. Uh, Finley could actually make a bump cap that's certified or compared to a helmet or is a helmet, but looks like a hat. Then we got some money going through happening. And there's like a new like bicycle helmet actually that's like collapsible like it actually folds up and stuff and then it's like folds out into a helmet and it's actually certified and it's for bicycles. And I don't know why they're not promoting it for helmet, like for skateboarding or any other sport. It's just for like people that ride bikes and stuff. And I, I barely see anybody wearing a helmet when they ride bikes as it is. <laughs> Damn. Chad is pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I got the, the bump cap, but he just kind of macked at me. Chad is probably South African. Bunga de Goo. We're all from Africa, apparently. That's what uh, Bill Nye says. We're all from Africa. Just the, the sun and the pigmentation, depending where you are, changes this, the color of your skin, right? Clearly, uh, uh, you know, since I'm so white, like, you know, my Scottish Irish ancestry because of that. So, yeah, no, I've never seen. A pad like that, all that in there. It's crazy. It's nuts. <laughs> what kind of bearings do you guys like to skate? I got uh, reds. I like skating reds. I also got some, uh, uh, I got a couple other sets here just to try to be diverse. And we got some elements. I don't know if they're any really any good, to be honest. Um, I'd have to try them out. The ATM fast as hell bearings are probably really rad. I don't know. Have you guys tried the ATM fast as hell? They're pretty good, I think. Uh, the only, like, out of the, the two that I'm not sure about are these, also the hard luck. They got hard luck bearings, too. So the element and the hard luck I'm kind of 50-50 about, but reds always skate. And many logos. Everyone's like reds, reds, bronze. <laughs> I'm from my father's. <laughs> Reds because they are cheap and not too fast, so I don't look like a bee behind the hills, right? Reds are really good. I like reds. I skate reds. Well, I skated Punisher until uh, no longer with Punisher. Now I skate reds. But you're all right. I like reds. I like that you're like reds because they're cheap. Actually, out of all the bearings I have, reds are the most expensive. It goes... 15, 20, and then 25. Reds are 25. So, you, but even then, 25 bucks for a set of bearings, you can't go wrong. So, I'm gonna put those in there. Normally, I take a picture of everything and promote the brands, but kind of doing it on here. So, whatever. F in chat because of F Punisher, right? Yeah, F Punisher, bro. Totally screwed up. It was funny because I was talking to Ultimate where I got by all my skateboarding stuff and I was like, yo, if you guys are that hurting for products and you guys are bringing in those cheap stereos, uh, I'm pretty sure Punisher has a whole warehouse full of skateboard stuff they need to get rid of. And they're like, well, to be honest, if you hooked this up, we'd probably buy it all from Punisher and, and bring it all in and stuff. And I was like, that'd be pretty rad. But at the same time, I don't want to help Punisher out. So because that would help them out big time. Whoa. I never noticed that. This this must be a, a new feature on... Uh, these Protec helmets, they got these little, uh, they cover the little screw holes there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm going to grab my helmet. Hold on. I didn't actually realize it before because mine are silver, but they got like the little Protec symbol cap. It's really dope. But these ones are actually black. And that's what actually made me realize it because they're black. And I thought that these were just regular screw caps, but no, they're actually Protec. That's dope. That's rad. F Punisher, F Punisher. Did Punisher burn you or are they just greasy? They burn me with their greasiness. How about that? <laughs> They're so greasy, it burned me. 
<laughs> I ate shit last week and my helmet saved me. Exactly, bro. That's why you always got to wear a helmet. Helmets save lives. Take Aiden, Aiden Shellings, for example, in Seattle, man. Bet you if you could, if you could go back in time and wear a helmet, I bet you all the money in the world he would wear a helmet. And that's with a lot of skaters that after they hurt themselves. Darkstar used to be good. Darkstar used to be completely like bad ass in my mind, and then they just completely sold out and went to Walmart. And it's funny because Braille uh, bashes Walmart, bashes Target and skaters and all their boards and stuff, and now they're selling their Braille tech deck sets at uh, Target. <laughs> so talk about selling out. Oof, gotcha. Yeah, no, they uh, they uh, misled and made a lot of false promises and stuff. Like, okay, C-Boy Slim, let's just put it this way. I was with Punisher for four or five years, and I didn't get a pro model board. Some guy named Mr. Smith got on, and not even in four or five months, not even one year, he already had his own board with his name and everything on it. So, like, that, that, that tells you right there about the, the company right there, their loyalty, how they treat their own people, just everything, man. Punisher told me the reason why I lost my sponsorship with them was because my original YouTube channel got deleted. That is pathetic. That's the truth, and that's what they told me, was because my channel got deleted, my YouTube channel. My, my, my sponsorship's gone, but it had not, one had not, nothing to do with the other. It was an excuse. And now my YouTube channel is bigger and better than the, the previous one, so it's awesome. Braille is loyal to the almighty dollar bill. Yeah, dude, they're, they're hardcore sellouts. All they care about is the money. Yeah, it, 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 is, it is what it is, man. It was a learning experience for me, and I think – for both parties, not only myself, but for them, uh, it kind of went bad. Because right now, if I was still with Punisher and they were with me, things would be going big, big time. But no, they end up getting rid of me. They hire on Dave Smith. End up, yeah, that's the thing. I was never hired. I was never getting really paid. Then they hire this other guy on. He's getting paid. He's getting paid a salary. They ask me to do all these things and do it all for free all the time. And then, that, then, like, you know, the Braille thing, I contacted Braille on behalf of Punisher, and Braille told Punisher five grand for a video. I hooked them all up. They didn't even have an idea what Braille was until I told the owner. And then I was supposed to go down there to Braille and do all that stuff. And then next thing you know, they send down Mr. Smith, and Mr. Smith's like, yeah, I've been uh, with Punisher since day one, helping them design the boards and stuff. Dude, bull crap. I was the one four or five years with them, taking all the hate and backlash for being a walmart and all that and then you know you guys know the story it is what it is it just kind of shows you like uh like i'm a very loyal person so sometimes loyalty doesn't pay off in the end because i thought uh, i was gonna be with my for life i was so loyal i was even ready to get a tattoo but what's funny about the whole punisher thing sorry for rambling on about it is their own pro rider mr smith doesn't even get a punisher tattoo he goes to Braille and like the first time hanging out with them as like, I don't know, he gets a Braille tattoo. Like what, how pathetic. I don't even think Aaron Cairo, the owner of Braille has a Braille tattoo, but yet yeah, some like Punisher dude gets a freaking Braille tattoo. It's so funny. Yeah. F Punisher, dude. I didn't know you YouTube before Chad Sinclair channel. Yeah, dude. I had an original Chad Double D Sinclair. I had about 8,000, 9,000 subs. It was straight skateboarding. And like day in the lives, and uh, it ended up getting deleted because uh, I had a bunch of 420 stuff related into it. And YouTube decided that they didn't want to, you know, 420 involved with YouTube anymore. Instead of age restricting it, they deleted everything. And it really, really sucked. It was very devastating. I spent about two months being suicidal, depressed. And then I just started over and just said, screw it. And yeah, I lost Punisher because of it, had a falling out. It was so weird because I, they like it was so stupid how they did everything. You got a braille tat? Is he fourteen? <laughs> dude, he does. He did. I have a video on my main channel laughing about it. Like this dude got a braille tatty, and it's funny because even Aaron Cairo and all the braille guys are like laughing at him, like trolling. I'm like, oh my god, he got it! Like what an idiot. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's really funny. Re Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I can't wait. I want to try these out. These are really rad element wheels. You look pretty sad. I actually had uh, a lot of great ideas for uh, Punisher, but I decided not to give them all. I only shared a little bit with them, and it shows you how much they used and abused my ideas. And even now, they're suffering, and I have so many ideas to help them. But no, not going to bother. These are so amazing. I love these. I was only supposed to get five of them, and I got six. So I got an extra pair. Well, not for free, but I had to buy them. But I get an extra pair because they're limiting only to certain amounts. So cool. <laughs> buy four sets, take them apart, and then just do a set of green instead of real. That'd be rad. I quit watching Braille when Carlos left. He was the only reason I watched. Dude shredded. Straight up, he did shred. Okay. I don't want to like talk more bad stuff about Braille and like other people on this channel because it's supposed to be like a, a gra like not like Grom, but like PG rated channel, I guess. Pure skateboarding. But uh Braille, like who is that guy that they brought out? Um Vinny Bon, Vinny Bon or whatever. Like straight up. Braille donated seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to Scientology. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, almost a million dollars. But yet they can't even support their own team riders and they have Vinny Ba living in a freaking shed in some dude's backyard. And then they create a GoFundMe account and ask for donations and stuff. Like, come on, people need to wake up. You got a multi-million dollar company abusing the riders to make money and get views. I, I wonder the whole Andy situation. I, I don't know it, but I hope he got paid. I hope he got paid big. Because they charge like five grand a video, so Andy should be charging them at least three thousand a video, minimal. Because they're gonna make huge money off of them, and they did. Lance left because Aaron is an eye hole. <laughs> oh wow, okay, that sucks. I hope your mind is in a better place. I love your videos, dude. Can't watch the news because it's so left versus right. I'd be bummed if you weren't here. Oh man, that's the thing is like I had a lot of people that were bummed, and I even got bummed and. I just realized, you know what? I live by the motto, never give up, never surrender. So it's like YouTube, never give up, never surrender. People tell me to kill myself. They tell me to quit. They tell me to delete. They tell me all this stuff. And I'm just like, you know what? Never give up, never surrender. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep posting videos and keep doing me. And if you got a problem with it, then so be it. And it makes you wonder uh, if Lance left and what was actually really going on. These are actually really nice. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They're a little bit bigger. I decided to get a little bit bigger hardware this time. They're like uh, an inch and a quarter. A little big, but uh, I figured if that way, if somebody needs a skateboard hardware or longboard hardware, you can kind of use them for both. Yeah, a lot of people have been leaving. Chad's Pro Shop Community Product. Eventually, uh, the thing with making boards is that you gotta like do like a uh, hundred boards minimal or something like that, and it costs quite a lot of money, dude. You gotta like invest like I think at least at least a thousand. I'd say at least two thousand dollars if you're gonna make boards. Two thousand dollars, and I think it's like a hundred boards, fifty to hundred boards for two grand, and it's only like one one thing one color and that's it it's like not like the fancy stuff like the fancy stuff you got like every color everything it costs more and more and more same with shirts uh just a basic shirt just to set up like just it, it costs a certain price but every time you add a color or add a different thing it just goes up and up and up and up i think originally uh i priced boards out about it'd be about 30 dollars my cost 30 40 dollars landed in the shop so it's not too bad because then I could sell them for 40 to 50 and then there'll be shop boards. But then, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. That's where if I was still with Punisher and working with them, I could probably design and do things properly. And that's where I have ideas for them, but I'm not going to bother showing it anymore. Do you know about that progress daily channel? He uploads vids with Carlos every now and then. I think they're affiliated or at least homies. 
I'll have to check it out. I think I seen what you're talking about, but I'm just kind of like, you know, <laughs> kind of not in the mind frame for that right now. I can, I'm pretty sure I have the, throw all these down here, hardware. Yeah, don't need the box. And that's the thing too, is like uh, to make it on YouTube, you really need to know people or have affiliates or associates. And like, look at Braille. Braille and Revive have literally taken over the whole skateboarding industry on YouTube. Uh, it's almost like a monopoly because like you have Revive and uh, for Braille, which are like two separate skateboarding companies, but they're still connected. They're like they're friends. Aaron and Andy Sherlock are friends. Uh, they collab together. They promote each other. Uh, every single one of their rider has a YouTube channel. It all kind of, you know, it's like a big massive monopoly. Or like myself, I create a YouTube channel and I'm doing it all myself and trying to promote myself and do everything. I, I, I reach out to Braille to do something and they tell me four or $5,000. Like I can really afford that. Uh, you know, I contact Keemstar and H3H3 and they don't even respond because they don't even care about uh, smaller channels or whatnot. <laughs> so Uzi knows what Fetty was doing. Yeah, he does. A lot of them do and that's why they stay silent about it and just kind of covered it up. And uh, that's what's getting at about the, uh, the whole YouTube thing is that if somebody like that's like a lot of smaller channels, they do a lot of videos on bigger channels because then it gets them views and clout, I guess, clout chasing, so to speak. But I don't think it's clout chasing if you're exposing someone. Cloud chasing is like if I was hanging out with Andy Anderson, filming him every day, like NKA was doing. That to me is cloud chasing. Or if like I, I felt like I, I know Dan Peugeot, the skateboarder, and he lives in one lot like Burnaby. It would be like me going to a skate shop every day and just hanging out and just trying to film them, you know? And I'm all about helping and promoting others and stuff too. And that's what this community skateboard channel is all about. Helping and promoting each other. Because like, yeah, it'd be awesome to get on the level that Braille and Revive's on. But if you, if, you're not, if you don't know them or connected, they don't want anything to do with you. Like when I went to the World Roundup, uh, Brett Novak wanted nothing to do with me. Uh, Mike Osterman, uh, the freestyle guy, wanted like nothing to do with me. You can even watch my videos on my main channel. I have like the video of the after party and like the video of the Hippie Mike's worst party. I go up to Mike and I like film him and he looks up and he's like, whoa, like what the heck? F Keemstar though. Keem, use, Keem is a liar and an a-hole. <laughs> Uh, you know, the only reason why I think Keem didn't respond to me is because he's upset that I said that he should be charged with uh, involuntary manslaughter for telling Etika to jump off a cliff because uh, he told somebody to jump off a cliff and then that person decided to jump off a bridge and committed suicide. So indirectly, I think Keem should be held responsible and I really went after him on that on Twitter. So I think he's kind of like, F this ginger. I'm not going to help him at all. I'm not going to do any Fetty or Braille videos because it's just going to help him out in a sense. And that's why when Fetty does a video or talks, he always talks as me as Voldemort, which is actually really funny. I actually think about taking four of these set of wheels and making a fat set of uh, four red, four green, four black, and four yellow. You have a choice. You can either get... The Rasta mix or the pure? I, I don't know. Me personally, I'd like to have like all green or like green, red, green, red. I don't know. They're pretty red. I am, bro. I am on his uh, I am on his list. And that's the thing is I guarantee you, C-Boy Slim, he won't do any videos. He won't acknowledge me. He'll ignore me until the day, if there is a day that I screw up and I slip up and I make something that's very controversial and drama and that he can use against me. And then Keem is going to be all over it, man. He'll be all over it. Contact Stevie would be your best bet or Dr. Phil. <laughs> uh, I also contacted Diesel Patches. If you don't know who Diesel Patches is, he's actually hilarious too. 
Um, I contacted him to see if he'll do something on it because it seems like he's the type of guy that will do that because he's pretty chill. He doesn't care if he makes a video about somebody, uh, if it's going to get, get them gain fame or hate or whatever. He just does it because he just does it. It's real. You know, like Keem and certain people like H3, they do certain things because it's going to benefit them. Same with Braille. If it's not going to benefit and it takes away from them and gives to somebody else and it benefits somebody else, then they're not going to do it. That's what I've realized about YouTube. The whole YouTube game, YouTubers, skateboarding, a lot of this stuff, it's like if you can't benefit benefit from them, then they won't be involved with you at all. Steve-O gets some really big fish, though. Deanster Swag News would be sick, though. Yeah, Steve-O would be rad, too. And that's the thing is I've contacted Steve-O as well, and I've never gotten a response. So uh, some of these people, they just eventually get too big or they just – they just don't have the time or they're just too busy or, you know, it is what it is. It'd be cool if Steve uh, did something though. I even told Steve that he should have done like a PSA about the whole COVID thing when it was happening and just completely blew that off. I was like, yo man, like you got like such a following, like people would respect that and like look up to you, you know, unlike Jake Paul, that's not doing anything other than just like hiring on ladies to dance and do music videos. <laughs> There's no pandemic. Look at us dancing party. I find it funny that a kid's pad brand is called 187 Killer Pads. <laughs> 187 Killer Pads. You know, it's like these rich celebrities and people can never do no wrong. They literally can do no wrong. If I did blackface in a video, I'd probably that'd be it. My channel would be terminated. <laughs> and that would be like bye bye Chad <laughs> you know but other YouTubes they make a living and a career off of it so Braille does a video where they're lighting their or their, their whole parking lot on fire and skating it and it's monetized as soon as I light one little fire anywhere it's going to be demonetized probably even get uh, a strike for being dangerous and harmful acts which is a wouldn't surprise me at all. That happens a lot too. Dainful, dangerous and harmful acts. Kind of want to skate, but I don't want to get super hot and sweaty. <laughs> but I got all this cool new stuff. Really rad. Pretty stoked. Got to put it all up on the shelves now. So I thought I'd just share it with all of you. Cool stuff that I got. Your local come down, pick up a pair of element wheels. These things are rad. These things are gonna fly. If you want to cruise and not worry about rocks and pebbles, these are your, these are the ones right here. It's funny. It's like uh, the coronavirus. They Dr. Fossey is like, now you gotta cover your eyes. I'm like, I've been saying that since January. Yeah, it is some pretty good stuff. I'm pretty stoked about it. Oh, especially – oh, you didn't see the boards, did you? You were in here for the boards. I even got the, the new Palo Peralta deck. Super sick. I like that. It's even got, like, the skeleton in the back that a lot of people miss because they're more focused on the front. I also got these two other little mini logo boards. Brand new, fresh. I like this one. Lionfish. Pretty rad. That's like uh, the guy Fresh Asian on Fortnite. And then the tree frog. I love the tree frog one. I love it because it's like pure lime solid. And then it goes into the tree frog. And then it goes back into the board. And I think that's like the coolest effect. Like, yeah, dude. Sea boy Slim. Like, I think this is so cool. Like, it's a solid paint, graphic, and then board. It's just like a really cool transition to me. I guess uh, I didn't even really realize it, but the uh, the lionfish has it too. It goes solid, lionfish, and then board. I think that's the coolest thing that they take a, a transparent image and put it over the uh, the actual board, which is really rad. I, I like that. I like many logos for that. The frog, the the tree frog art is dope, dude. I agree, and the Palo Peralta one too. 
I'm wondering if this is one that somebody colored and they made into a colorway because they have that whole thing where uh, they have the colorway book. So uh, if you like color this, you can actually like color their boards and you send a picture of it and they like, you can win prizes. And I'm thinking like this was one of the ones they picked that somebody uh, colored and did. Cause it kind of looks like it, to be honest. This almost looks like it was a, like a, almost like a water paint, kind of water paint style that they did. Switch Billy, switch pivot tail slide Casper slide. Oh yeah, it does. It does, doesn't it? It's pretty dope. Yeah, I like I like uh, the piles too because they're solid black. You don't see like the wood. On other boards, you see like the wood grain. I like it when it's just a solid. That's just me personally though. So that's what I got. And it's a big board too. It's a 8.75. Sadly, I, I, I missed out on all the completes and the Powell, all the Powell stuff sold out like five minutes, two minutes. So I was able to get one board. One board's better than nothing. Yeah, it looks like somebody took paint or colored pencil to the sword. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like it looks like it was one of the colorway boards. It was like, uh, like it was one of their designs that somebody colored and then brought back in. It says Ray Bones Rodriguez though, so Ray Bones Rodriguez. Maybe that's the dude or this the skater, but it definitely does look like it's uh, definitely was one of the colorways. It didn't say it when I ordered it, but you can kind of see that it does look like it compared to the rest of the deck. How it's like solid, but still, that, that's that's still really rad. It might be, it might be because they only had this Powell deck for sale, but then they had a ton of complete. So maybe I should uh, do a couple uh, tricks before uh, I stream here. You know how like hockey sticks are all composite now? I wonder if there's a way to manufacture a composite deck that's super strong but weighs nothing. Dude, there you go. You got something right there, man. Maybe you could go to uh, the hockey stick manufacturer that are making the new composite sticks and then uh, make a board out of it rather than heavy maple wood. I agree because uh, we're always trying to figure out how to make our boards lighter so we can get higher and use less effort to do tricks, right? It's kind of like the Powell flight decks on how uh, they made them super light and then they can bend as well and flexible. So they're super strong, superior, but then also fly, uh, you know, super light, lightweight. Yeah, I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if they've really bothered trying to experiment with uh, different types of woods and stuff like that. I'm sure they have over the years. I know they've experimented with putting like aluminum sheets inside and you know, all that kind of stuff. The element when they put the aluminum sheet down in the center of the board and it was supposed to be indestructible, but then we'd break it and all the wood would break and then the metal's all warped. F and autocorrect. <laughs> yeah, so it's got some good good stuff today. Everything's going like crazy. I could order tons more stuff, but I don't know. I need more more customers. I need more community. We're gonna order more. I love these element wheels. If I could have, I would have ordered all of these because these things are sick. I gotta figure out how to like start doing sales online because then I can start saving you all money by ordering through me direct. So I always do it cheaper. <laughs> Stack the wheels. There you go. The element stack of wheels. The display, the pyramid. Who stay? That's actually rad. Stay. Yeah, world record for most stack skateboard wheels. <laughs> Have you uh, met a cool skater girl yet? Uh, no, I've never met any like skater girls or pro skater girls. It's all like guys usually. Maybe in the future, you never know. I was literally just going to ask if you have an online store. Uh, sadly, not yet. I haven't really gotten into all of it, but I eventually do because that would just be super rad. I think online sales is where it's at. The world record. It's the world record. Maybe if I like did them all in one stack, a single stack. 
world record for stacking skateboard wheels. Actually, they're they're really tipsy, to be honest. It's actually kind of a challenge. Oh, ho, 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 ho. if you could see this one, the way the wheels are set on it, it's like there's the wheel and then the other wheel is literally like this. It's not on it. It's off on the side. Oh, <laughs> did you get the balance? See, it was literally like this because <laughs> the weight, it was like leaning. So I had to put it like that to balance it. It was so weird. <laughs> cruiser wheels. Yeah, dude. Element cruiser wheels. Element came out with some cruiser wheels. Huge shout out to Element. These are awesome, bro. I love that Element came out with some cruiser wheels. It's like normally you get cruisers from like Powell or like Sector 9 or longboard companies and they're like super expensive. Well, these are like really good top of line quality. Super awesome. And they're, they're like at a price that you can, you know, it's not going to break your wallet. Like I think like, I think I'm going to sell them for like 40 bucks, I think. So with a set of bearings, 60 bucks. Where like normally just a set of wheels are 60 bucks. Let's see if I can get this stacked. World record for most wheels stacked. Yeah, it's like a leaning, it's all going tippy totter. Stay. I think it's gonna stay. Let's get another stack on there. See if I can. No, it's going to fall. Let's get this on there. I love my 75 millimeter Thunder Juice. So much fun. Exactly, dude. Cruiser wheels are so much fun. No, I think I can only get the four stack. The four stack of wheels. <laughs> Maybe I could go for the five, but it's really hard. You can see that they're really wonky. This is the way the... They're 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 manufactured or like they're packaged because the, all the wheels aren't the same. They're all off a little bit. <laughs> it counts. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your thought on Hall of Meat? Hall of Meat is brutal. It's good, and then it's also bad. <laughs> to be honest, I watched her hair for the world record skateboard. <laughs> I was here for the world record skateboard wheels. Yes. <laughs> it's like the other world record stacking skateboard wheels on the hand. You can literally create a world record out of anything. It's so stupid. All right. We got eight. All right. See if we can get one more in there. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, smokes. I got the floor balancing. What? Oh, world record for the most skateboard wheels balancing on one hand at one time. And the record holder is me. <laughs> <laughs> I skate 65 and 50s. Yeah, no, these are uh, 60 millimeters. Uh, so, you know, they were the smallest, but also the biggest cruiser wheels they had that I thought would be, because I got a lot of kids that are buying these complete skateboards and they got like the regular, you know, skateboard wheels, smaller skateboard wheels. And they're like, yo, uh, it's too hard to push on the concrete or it's too slow or whatnot. So I started getting like sector nine wheels and then they were like really pricey, but then like element popped these out. I was like, score. These were like a steal. So I was like, bye, 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 bye. But they said you can only buy fives, but I got six. Might have to buy some more. These are awesome. I got some pads. I love these. These wheels are awesome. My God, he did it. The Mother Mary, he's done it. Momentous day for humanity. <laughs> right? You can literally create a world record out of anything. It, it, is, it is ridiculous. I started looking online at world records, and that's where I was going to create a bunch of skateboard ones. Set skateboard world records. 
And I'll bet you a hundred bucks. Next thing that's going to come out on Braille is skateboard records because they watch a lot of my stuff and steal a lot of stuff. I'm done with triple eight pads. They're garbage. Have you ever read wheels that are squiggly and uneven? Yeah. Not fun. Why don't you like triple eight pads? They're like waves. Protec or one eight seven. I like Protec personally. Protec's the way to go. Um, yeah, Protec, hands down, best. Never had any problems with Protec. The only thing coming out of Braille is <laughs> right. Yeah, I know these even they even look sick. I just I don't know. I just uh, I even like the clear, transparent look to them. They're just super cool. It'd be really rad if uh, when they roll, they light up. If they did, oh my lord. I don't know if they do or don't, but that'd be super sick if they did. They lit up. The only thing coming, uh, they fall apart after one or two minor falls. That's not good, man. You should just, you should be able to take slams and like eat your pads up before they, they, they fall apart. Like my ProTech ankle braces, I've skated for like three years and then the strap finally broke, the one strap. Uh, been skating this helmet for like over a year now and it's got just like minor scratches and stuff just from like, you know, being thrown on the ground and things. Uh, I've had wrist pads that last over a year. They don't fall apart. So yeah, if something falls apart within two or three times, then maybe it was a manufacturer's defect or maybe just triple eight is just garbage. The Nat is spin my helmet. <laughs> the Nat is spin my helmet. <laughs> Put the helmet on the ground, go up on the skateboard and spin on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grab some pro tech. I go full body, wrist, elbow, waist, and tailbones and knee pads. The only other company that I would suggest other than ProTech, but I haven't tried personally, is G Form or G Foam or something like that. G Form, I think they're called. Uh, I've been wanting to test out their stuff. They're a little bit more expensive. So if you're wanting to just save some money, go with ProTech. Best. Love when Braille did the games of skate with the whole roster, and it would be like Carlos Lastra versus Chris McNug for like 20 rounds, right? <laughs> I love when uh, Dave Smith ended up doing the game Escape versus the Braille, and they like he didn't even get one letter. They just like totally shredded him, and he's like a pro skater too. They're like, "Yo, do a Smith down the hand really?" He's like, "I can't." <laughs> so yeah, no, that's some pretty cool stuff. I didn't get too much today; just a couple things here and there. Try to keep keep things coming and going, you know. Yeah, Protec's the best. I even had a Protec helmet that I cracked. Oh, this was a Protec helmet uh, that was given to me by Hippie Mike. The first skate event I went to by Hippie Mike, which was awesome. Shout out to Hippie Mike. Got me back into skateboarding as well as gave me a helmet to protect myself. Uh, you can see I landed on it and completely cracked it. So it saved my noggin. It did its job. So it just shows you that it actually worked. And yeah, I used to sticker my helmets and my boards and everything up. I used to go crazy with it, as you can see. Even Braille video is like, hey guys, we're gonna to go to Walmart. Oh no, the floor is lava video. They haven't we done this 30 times this week. Oh no, one of our skaters is a convicted. <laughs> Mogley did beat him on flat ground, but it was close. Are those element wheels new from them? Yes, these are actually brand new from Element. Um, that I understand all the stuff that I usually try to get is like fresh brand new I'm even going to try to do some pre-orders on some of the uh, toy machine stuff to get some really cool stuff <laughs> yeah I know these are brand new so that's as soon as I saw these on the b2b uh, I bought them and I, I normally I buy like one or two because I, I have to pay out of my pocket for it but I know that these are going to sell because they're so nice I, I kind of even want to just keep them bring them home these are mine now see you guys <laughs> <laughs> what is toy machine coming out with um that's the thing too is if I 
do a video and edit it properly, I could actually show you the new product coming out for 2021 that I can pre-order. Uh, but I just have to try to like edit the pricing so you can't see any of the pricing because that's against uh, the guidelines for being a dealer. But uh, if I can do all that, you could like check it all out. And what's really cool is like I, I thought that it'd be really neat if the, the skate distributions also gave us the, uh, the opportunity to get like booklets, like a, a booklet of all the stuff we can order and then get people to pre-order as well. But just too much headache sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna get some chucks on that casket, huh? right? I've been getting hyped for the Tony Hawk Pro Skater remake and watching a ton of old Musk and Steamer video parts. Yeah, dude, Musk and Steamer totally killed it back in the day. So weird how far skating advanced in such a short time since then. That's because like uh, you see like all these people doing stuff, and then it's like you just you want to do bigger and better, bigger and better, bigger and better. So. It just progresses really good. And a lot of kids, they're like, if I want to get sponsored, I got to be like super crazy. So they like push themselves even more. And back in the day, you didn't have YouTube or any access to learn how to do skateboarding. So it was just trial and error or had somebody teach you if you were lucky. But now kids just literally can go watch or have anybody teach them. So they're very privileged today. Skaters back in the day were not privileged. We had it really hard. Any of the kids in the 90s and stuff. Cause like I had to self teach myself most of everything. The only trick I ever looked up to learn was the dolphin flip online. Yeah. I knew how to do it. I just wanted to, I just needed somebody to like, vis like visually see it as well. Tell me exactly what to do. And like Chris Chan in his video, like perfect. He like, I watched his video and then I went out and I did it that day, like fourth try or fifth try or something like that. And I find like sometimes you'll be trying a trick and you have no idea what you're doing. Kind of like when I was trying to learn Andy's front foot impossible. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to give it, wing it just by watching him and just going, okay, well, that's kind of what you have to do. Just do it and trial and error and eventually learn it. But then after getting it a few times, you kind of get it, but it's not like what it should be. And then watching Andy teach the Braille guys on how to do it within like watching like a minute of that. And then him explaining exactly how his foot goes and everything and how he angles it down when he does the wrap. <laughs> I like first try I go out and I like did it. So I was just like, Oh, okay. Well that that's what I was missing. And a lot of the times uh, when you're trying to learn how to skateboard uh, it's hard to know what you're missing. If you don't know how to do the trick to begin with, you know, so weird how far skating is true do you think chad musco learned to skate from skateboarding made simple nah bro uh, a lot of the old skaters learn just by trial and error and pushing each other chad musco and those guys it was just like they're skating with friends they're trying to learn things and just pushing each other just pushing each other just do it go do it you know and that's where a lot of the skaters they get into substance abuse because they can't overcome those fears and people pushing them so they use substance to push them to do it which is totally wrong you should never do that just imagine though, uh, like Andy Anderson comes out. I got pro because I did skateboarding made simple. But no, Andy, uh, I believe even went to Woodward when he was younger. So he was trained at Woodward and stuff like that. You know, when you have professional skaters training you and telling you what to do, it's like totally different than some kid just going out and not knowing anything and just going, okay, I'm going to learn how to very little flip today. No idea. I know, right? I got sacked when I did my first inward heel, right? Because you have no idea what you're doing. You're just seeing somebody else do it, and then you're trying to monkey see, monkey do. You're trying to mimic it. And I think a lot of skateboarding is that. It's monkey see, monkey do. And what you watch, you try to redo. But uh, there's there are also a couple of tricks where you can't visually just see and do. You have to have somebody explain what they're actually doing. A lot of tricks to me personally, when I learn them though, it is visual. I just have to watch exactly how they're like moving their head or how they're flicking their, like just, just how the things are rotating and just visually slow it, like slow motion it just to see how it goes. 
And then there's just a very couple, like the dolphin flip was one, the front foot impossible. I just, I just needed that extra little trick tip or that skate hack or that little secret to unlock to get it perfect, you know? And some skate tricks, there's definitely little secrets and little things uh, to definitely land and get them a lot easier than, you know, there's some, there's some tricks where you have difficulty doing it. And then once you figure out that one little secret, you just bam, bam, bam landing every time every time i've had that with a few tricks yeah but we're also kind of super unlucky considering that braille li braille lies about half the tricks they show you they're showing you the wrong way to do it yeah wasn't there like a controversial video of braille doing uh, an impossible and it was like a 360 shove it wasn't even impossible and then they did a uh, how to bubble flip or something like that. It wasn't even a bubble flip or I don't know. There's like a couple tricks that Braille did how to video trick tips. And they're saying how to do a 360 flip. And it's not even a 360 flip. It's like, a, I don't know, something completely different. You, you get my point, right? It's like me saying, I'm going to produce a kickflip video. And then I show a hard flip. <laughs> it's kind of like um, <laughs> a nice kickflip there, bro. <laughs> Very nice. And I also find it funny that Tony Hawk now you can pay to teach you to skate. Like they have like that master lesson course. How the heck is Tony Hawk going to teach me to drop in a 12 foot half pipe at my house by watching him online? Never happened. the component packs more skate brands need to do these the component packs it's crazy people like the skateboard brands and stuff think like parents and everybody and kids just have money man skateboarding is so pricey it's so expensive what are the heart and soul shirts you always wear is that your shop merch uh, no, Heart, Mind, Soul uh, is actually one of my other skateboard sponsors. I'm not sure if I'm still sponsored by them. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm hoping I am. I'm repping them every day and everywhere I go. Uh, they were one of the sponsors uh, that sponsored me for skateboarding with Punisher and stuff like that uh, during that time frame. And they've always had my back. They've always supported me. Um, you know, they got amazing quality shirts. These are like, they're like, they're breathable, so like you know, you get some air through it. Heart, mind, and soul. Yeah, you put your heart, your mind, and your soul into everything you do. That's why I like heart, mind, soul. Because when I skateboard, I put my heart, my mind, and my soul into it. If like guitar, you have to be born into it, or you have to be effing crazy. <laughs> yeah, I see you wearing their shirts. I'll look them up. Yeah, man. Uh, if you look them up and message them, just tell them. Uh, you found out about them because of Chad Sinclair and uh, tell them I'm still repping them every day. Uh, I kind of probably lost contact with them because I was on contact with them through Facebook and I haven't been on Facebook for like, I don't know, six, seven months. I honestly kind of just said F I'm done with Facebook. Um, uh, the world roundup and the freestyle skateboarding ended up saying that one of the reasons why I was banned was because I was using Facebook as a support group and they didn't like that. So that hurt me because I passionate and love skateboarding and was passionate and love the world roundup and freestyle and that they, they were my family and blah, blah, blah. And when they told me that I was using Facebook as like a support group and that's the reason why I got banned or whatever, well, then I was just like, screw it. I'm not using Facebook anymore. And I haven't used Facebook for like eight months or something like that. And people are probably like, where the heck did he go? Is he even alive? I don't know. It's funny. I, I, nobody even messaged. Like, I probably have like over 100 messages on there. I should go back on there though. Drop your name if I pick something up from them. Thanks, man. Even uh, Just email them and see if they'll send you a couple stickers. They're, they're usually pretty dope. They'll send some stickers too. They're pretty solid. Heart Mind Soul is like uh, one of those companies that try to give back to the community and the people that are like underdogs and low and like in need and stuff, which is really nice. Because take it this way, I'm a can I'm I'm from Canada. I'm Canadian, okay. And all my sponsors are American. 
I haven't had. I don't think. I don't think I've had any Canadian brands or shops or skateboards or anything to try to sponsor me. Yes, yeah, send them an email for a couple stickers to say, hey, I watched Chad Sinclair, one of your skaters, told me to hook, hook up some stickers. I still got some Heart, Mind, Soul stickers uh, at my house I need to hook up. I haven't sent them yet, Deanster, that's why. I, dude, I've honestly, I haven't been even been to the bank for like four months. I haven't, I haven't gone shopping in two months. I've just been sitting in my house. The only place I do gum is here and the ultimate just to pick up product and that's it. Because like anywhere else, I like I wear like a full face mask and gloves and like, you know, and it's just a headache to do that all the time. And then I, you wearing a mask and stuff and it's freaking like 30 degrees out and you got to stand in a lineup for 40 minutes just to get into a store for four minutes. Like, it's just so stupid. Like, it's like Germany, man. It's like Nazi Hitler days. You got to stand in line, write down your name and your information and then you got to wait and then they call on you and I got a mask. I got gloves. I'm good. Let me in. Let me do my business. Yeah, no, I'll send it to you soon, and I'll throw some extra swagage in there, Deanster. Don't worry. I'll throw some extra swag memes in there for you, Deanster. No, much love. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate everyone being patient with stuff like that because I am one person. It'd be different if I was like Braille and I had like 12 different people working with me, working for me, and all this other stuff, you know. Uh, but I'm just one person doing it all, so. Same, man. I've only been going to work the gas station at home. Exactly. And even when I go to the gas station, I'm like putting on gloves and I'm all like. <laughs> Swag memes. <laughs> yeah, like straight up. Just... There is your mask. They say uh, no mask, no service. Just go like that. Should make like a parody video where I wear my underwear on my face. Sure stinks outside today. <laughs> Chad, you do realize you're wearing your boxers on your face. No, it's my face mask. I don't know. Should I do a couple skate tricks for y'all? Let me know in the comments. Skate tricks. Yay, dang. Let me know. Should I do some skate tricks? I'm going to go throw these helmets over there. If you if your underwear on your face, then where is your mask? <laughs> We're 100%. You got to make a video about the Karens. Yeah, dude, shred a little bit. All right, we'll shred a little bit. I'll make a video about the Karens. I've been meaning to. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been fighting with uh, YouTube right now because of that copyright strike. They're starting to uh, censor and bury my channel again because of it, which is very frustrating. In YouTube, it's like you're uh, guilty, bef guilty before proven innocent kind of thing. Let's spin this around here. <laughs> 